How big is a black hole? If you look at the first image of a supermassive black hole made by the Event Horizon Telescope, it has a size 10 times larger than our entire solar system as marked by the orbit of Neptune. And the new picture of the black hole in the center of the Milky Way, it still fits in between the Sun and the orbit of Mercurius. The two black holes are different in mass and in size by a factor of 1500. We're standing here in the heart of Cologne in front of this massive cathedral, which is 160 meter high and weighs 300,000 tons. If that were the size of the black hole in M87, that would be the size of the black hole in the center of our Milky Way. But there's one fundamental difference between a normal object like a giant cathedral and a supermassive black hole. And that's how they scale with mass. A normal object, the mass will scale with volume. This is 1500 times smaller in this dimension, in this dimension, and this dimension. So it's one billion times lighter and I can hold it in my hand. If it were a black hole, it would only be 1500 times lighter than this massive cathedral up there. And so that model would weigh 200 tons and I couldn't hold it anymore. But seriously, if this were a true black hole, it would weigh twice the mass of the entire Earth. But if the two black holes are so different in size and mass, why do the two images that the Event Horizon Telescope make look so similar? Well, it's a question of perspective. Let's change perspective now and go in that direction. Now we are 1500 steps away from the Cologne Cathedral. If I hold the small one, one arm length away, it's going to be 1500 times closer. If you hold them next to each other, they're exactly the same size. That's the magic of perspective. Of course, a cathedral you can see. From a black hole, you see the light that is missing. You can never see a black hole. You can only ever see its shadow.